Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're starting on the map because I have changed my mind. Um, we were going to go for this one, which would mean that we don't have another counter, enemy counter on the board. However, however, the fact that this in green there, completing this mission will result in the region upgrading to a key region. So key region, uh, so here we can see we've got two key regions. We've got this um, we got this key region under our control, so it basically doubles our resistance. Now, the whole point of this game up there in the green red bar is the D Day. So, I don't know what happens at the end. I don't know if it's a massive mission we do or if it just ends and we win because we've got enough resistance. But doubling our resistance, gaining a key region, seems to be of absolute paramount. Um, and so, for that reason alone, I'm going to go for this mission. We don't need the extra guy. The rewards, XP and supplies is all less. But it does turn this into a key region, which means that when we take it eventually, if we even have time, um, it will double our strength. So as much as I would like to do this, everything in me says this is the better mission. I just think doing the double resistance for key region trumps all of that so we are we started on day 53 with day 33 now so we're nearly a th halfway through we've got maybe two missions out from being halfway um, and we've got three fully occupied places so if we manage to do that it's basically four so essentially we've got four more regions that we can potentially get as a best so there will be maybe two regions left that we can't get and three of them are now key regions so we will we will have to pump in to these areas ASAP um, so yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go for this mission here it is unfortunately a stealth we've done quite a few stealth it is brutal so it will be a slightly harder than usual um, and then I'm gonna choose my team based on that so I'll, I will see you in the mission He's still alive, eh? Let us hope that these miracles continue. Check out our escape route. We're ready to move. Okay, in we are. Yeah. We have brought our two what? scouts, our medic, and buzzing, Anson, Chris? our sniper. So, let's see what we've got here. We've got a nice train track. Um, So where is our X filtration point? Okay, there. So it's not that far away. We've got one objective. So rescue Lucian, who is in there. Oh, there we go. So we can see him. So he's tied up, right? Contact Dewar without being detected. Oh, so Dewar, Lucian Dewar. So we need to get to Lucian Dewar without being detected. Kill fewer than four enemies during the mission. Wow, okay, that's a new one. That is a new one. Um, so we're obviously going to be using our scouts a lot to distract. Um, okay, so we've got a guy here. Now, we don't know if he's moving or not. Um, uh, we'll okay. move him with Kumba. We can put him in the bush here. I'll move more. Let's see what he sees enemy okay so this guy is moving forward got an enemy at the top there oh, okay a panzer grenier improved officer cannot be stealth killed heals enemy morale can award extra ap can be revived okay moving. we'll check his profile shortly um Okay, we've also got a guy there so he's moving up top he's moving across we don't have a timer in terms of when I'm here um, now we could put you here which makes sense does that make sense moving out See that torpedo? 
torpedo. Okay, it doesn't look like he's got anyone guarding yes. him. What an interesting mission. Um, <sighs> okay, so we can't go up the hill. Um, Moving out. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so he can't see. So we've got a melee incoming. Um, we just don't have the movement to get into this bush here. Okay, so he's going to have to go here or here. Moving out. <laughs> Okay, kill fewer than four enemies. Contact Dwar. Um, okay, so basically we've just got to get get him stealthily and then exfil without killing anyone or without killing many. Okay, so this guy is still moving down. So let's get one of our guys. Probably. Do we want double scouts? Um, so he's still moving down. Mm, yes. Let's get uh, Musa up here. Is that a bush? That's a bush there. So that seems like a good place to put him. Okay, I like I like that. Let's do that. Okay, so there's um, a grenadier. Wow, okay. An improved sapper. Okay, so he is not killable. Pardon? Okay. Mounted trooper, veteran soldier, improved equipment and morale. And morale. Huh? Wow, okay, so we've got some uh, basically improvements across the board, it looks like. Uh, okay, let's have a look. So, he does have weak spot, this improved guard. Uh, he does not, the sapper does not, the melee guide does, and that's a normal. What? Okay, what? wow, this is... Um, very, very interesting. Who is this? This is our sniper. I'm wondering if we put our sniper up here, to be honest. And we just grab him over the top. So I think what we should do... Moving. Uh, we should bring our two scouts to do the rescue, because they can kind of um, do the melee and the stone throwing. They've both got three AP when they do a you melee kill. Me? Uh, this is Cassidy. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't bring our medic, so we need to make sure we don't balls this up. Uh, so this is Tremblay. Okay. So Tremblay is going to have to go here, I think. I'm moving. And then we'll bring um, Cassidy up into this bush just here on the left. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. We'll bring Cassidy here. Moving. Wow, this is an interesting one, guys. This is uh, an interesting mission. So it's going to be against our usual style of play.
Wow. I'm here. Yes. What's buzzing, cousin? What's up? Is that a bush? This is not a bush. Um. So I can't tell from that guard whether he can see in here. Okay, so sniper. Okay, so the sniper up the top there has bolstered up, so we can't move these hey, guys me, at all. I'm here. Huh? Putting Cassidy here seems a bit pointless. Oh, that's not even a bush. Um, okay. So putting Cassidy anywhere along here seems a bit pointless because he won't be able to. Um, he won't be able to go any further because this guy is walking back. But we can maybe bring him behind and then into this bush. Moving out. Um. Yeah. Huh? Mm. Okay, I think we just leave you yes. there. Yeah. So where do we bring you guys? I think bringing you here is definitely a good idea. Moving out. This is Tremblay. What? And then you want me? You want me? Hmm? Musa, you go here when your thing loads in. I'm here. Yes. Okay, we've got no. Ah, the sapper is going to his right. Moving. Okay, so we have an an open window to get through here. So we've all moved. So what's happening here now? So there's a guy there that we need to take out. I'll show you in a minute. This <sighs> is like a math puzzle. Okay, so this melee guy is causing these red tiles at the entrance. I don't think it's this guy. But it's possible. Um, so the melee guy is moving that way. The sap is moving that way. So we may have to wait until next turn to get them in. Uh, I don't think we need to take out this guy here. You need me? Pardon? Huh? So you take this opportunity to get right over. Okay, so in theory, you should be able to get behind this bush without any problems. Moving out. Another gunzel. Um, what was that? That was a grenade. Oh dear. We're gonna have to um huh? I don't know how far can we throw with a with our um stone. Let's have a look. It's actually quite far. So, if we're standing here, can we reach that guy to throw a stone? We can at least... Man. I'm wondering if we should bring him over the top. Yeah, yeah, go up. I mean, he can't do anything this time, so we could bring him here. And then he could go over to that bush. I'll move more. I think that's a good idea. We'll leave Trembele. Yeah. We'll put you in this bush. What gets you here quickest? Four turns. Five. So that'll take two and then three. So it is I'm best moving. to put you here. Okay, that's hmm? Trembele done, and then Cassidy uh. will bring you around to this bush. Actually, you could go to that bush. Moving. Okay, I think 
I think we should be able to get some action in the next turn. Oh, he is moving. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. This is definitely the window to do stuff. 100%. Okay. We will not have a lot of time in that. Um... Hmm? So I've got to throw a stone to distract this guy. And then I've got to get in. Because that red, this red here is from him, obviously. So we get a stone. We rescue him. And then we move them both to here. And then we've got basically not very long to get them out into these bushes and then from there where is the extraction zone it's over there okay okay let's try that uh, so stone Moving out. Okay, so that should give us plenty of I'm time moving. to get in and out. How did you sneak past them all? Lead the way, Phantom. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. Now. That guy is still moving that way. That's perfect. Now. The decision here is, do I put him here, or do I put him here to maximize his AP usage? Yes. What's buzzing, cousin? Yes, yes. Hmm? This guy we've just rescued, can you get out? Can you get into a bush here? You can get into that bush. Okay, is that the best bush for you? Probably. Uh, we'll go out. there. Okay. So, okay, so they're both coming back. Um, so I think for the sake of argument, oh, that's a tough call, Tremblay. I'm here. Do I put you here? He's not going to see him. He is very unlikely to see him. And you won't see him. But then we're not going to be able to realistically move him. What about on this side? Uh, you're fine. Um, it's, for the sake of one Moving AP, out. it's not worth it. We'll put you there. Um, okay, right. Next, we need to get... You can go here. Moving. Um, maybe there? I'm here. Don't think that really matters. And then you can... Can you climb over the wall? Doesn't look like we can climb over the wall. So we have to... Um, if we go in here... That doesn't really help us, does it? Right, where's Cassidy yeah. going? Uh, Cassidy. You need me? Huh? Mm. You want me? You want me? What? Yeah. What's up? Okay, so we'll, we'll have to put Cassidy here, probably. <sighs> I think knifing this guy here will be a definite... A definite wise play. But the, but the, oh, hang on, look. Yes, we can climb the wall. Okay, that is good to know. So in that case, we will um, put you here. <sighs> yeah. 
yeah, we'll put you there. Over now. And then, uh, and then, An Ans Luke Anson, Anson, got to get the name right. And then Luke Anson will put you here. Actually, I think putting you here is better. Move in. Okay, we may have to just skip a few turns while the guards juggle around, um, but I think I think we're okay. Okay, he's now moving back. So heavy. I mean, you don't want to be going loud on this mission. You are in big troubles if you go loud on this mission. I mean, goodness me. You are in a, a world of trouble. Okay, Cassidy, you can come right over here now. Um, and that will give you a good angle to do okay. stuff. Um, okay, so you're moving, you're moving, and you're moving. Hmm? So oh. that will free up a lot of space for this. Moving. So he'll probably be able to do the knife kill. Um, but I suspect it's going to be loud, so... Yeah. Uh, that means we can put you in this bush. I'm moving. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. What's well, buzzing? I think cousin. Musa, Pardon? can you get in here? Hmm? Huh? Okay, the sapper coming this way should not be able to see him here. I'll move more. I'm here. And then that gives Cassidy. So we could potentially put you here. Or actually here. Oh, that's a... F okay, I could put you there. Moving out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you go loud in this mission, you're going to get absolutely decimated. What have they got? Eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 to 15 players, and half of them are, are upgrades. Uh, right, end turn. Okay, so we've got an enemy there that's doing nothing. Uh, I think that's going to be loud. Okay, the sapper is still going that way. So I need to get a visual on this guy here. I mean, in theory, we could just all walk along here and then up. That would actually be... Uh... That would actually be a great solution. Now we could knife him. But then I'm in the open. However, I do believe he has 3 AP at the end of the turn. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, his knife kill is silent. Um... As a backup, we do have Cassidy that can give him AP, and then we can just tuck into here. Um, let's just... I definitely know Moose has got the um, 3 AP when doing a melee yes. kill, because uh. I just gave it to him. Uh, so you definitely have the AP here. So we can give that to whoever. Okay, so let's take that knife kill. You need um, me? 
let's take that knife kill. What's the solution? So they're all going this way, which is fine. He's also going that way. Um, I mean, to be honest, do we need? Do we really need to take him out? Hmm? I just don't feel like we do, to be honest. Uh, kill fewer than four enemies. I mean, is there any value? We can just literally walk up here. He's coming back. Yeah, let, let's yeah. let's do it. Yes. It'll just make yeah. things a little bit easier. Moving out. There's a buck in my sights. Right, who is the bug? Okay, medic. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he did get the three AP, but not really a lot. Um, okay, so the medic's not moving. He's not moving. No one else here is moving. So he, in theory, is fine that. just there. Uh, Musa, you... You could go here. No. Oh, we got three of our guys here. Okay. Um... Okay, putting our guy in the open there is fine. Moving. Huh? You want me? Yes. You can actually go there. Oh, move more. What's buzzing, cousin? I'm going to save Cassidy for in case we want to move um, move in Tremblay I just don't think he's in any problems um, but he is facing this way and he's going to move that way you want right, let's, yeah. let's how do we let's do this I don't want to take undue risks here. Okay. I'm here. What's up? Okay, so you can go over this wall. Moving out. And then you. Let's just keep you going on the bush. Moving out. Okay, I think I think we're fine. I think we're in total control of this I'm mission. Here. Providing nothing else crazy happens. We should be alright. He's going back that way. Moving out. Let's just move you here. Um Okay, so the heavy is still moving forward at the top there. Um, so we could put you here. Right, what have we got coming back? Okay, so he's now stationary. The knife guy is still going forward. So... Um, moving. You need me? Okay, Tremblay. So the heavy's moving forward. If we put Tremblay here, he can go in for the stealth kill. Now he'll get noticed doing that. Um, so I think we need to put 
So if I put Tremblay here and then move in here to do a stealth kill, he's going to get noticed in these two tiles. So I'm going to have to come round the back. So we're going to have to put I'm you moving. here. I suspect this is the, bound, the boundary of yes. the mission here. Um, there are no other guards on this side now. You're still going forward, okay, so you can go there. Moving. Um, and then these guys. Moving. Moving out. All right, we're close. We are close. An interesting mission. Um, let's see what happens now. So, since this is a relatively short mission, we can go through the equipment and skills just to give you an overview. Because um, I rejigged their gear to be a little bit more you want me? suitable to their play style. Okay, so you, you need to get right up here. Moving out. A movement. Moving up. Moving. So it says I've killed two guys. Did I? Oh, I did. Yeah, I killed Your the medic. Is appreciated. I killed the medic. Now, can anyone offer me a drink? We sure can, Lucius. I think you become part of the team. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got a trench gun and an M7. Okay, so Anson here, our sniper, he, he is the best sniper. He's better than uh, Tremblay. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the other one, forgotten his name. Belanger. Belanger, that's the name. Okay, so good. So. We got our guy back safe. He's now busy organizing the resistance against the Krauts. I hope I don't regret doing this. Um, okay, so this FFIs, we've seen this a little bit. Uh, an FFI or a French force of interior unit can be used to temporarily incapacitate enemy pieces and interrupt reprisals. The recruit FFI task has now been unlocked and you can can be used to create more FFI units. Okay. We got ourselves some backup. We can now deploy free French units to tie the enemy up for a while. Looks like the Germans got our man. We're not in good odor with the resistance right now. Oh, wow, we... Did we actually lose? We didn't lose a piece there. Okay, so um, this gives resistance strength plus four. And this does the railroad. Enemy pieces do not increase mission day costs. Um, 
I think doing this one, getting that on the board, four resistance, which is doubled, uh, seems important. Okay, so they've now gone over there. Fine. Your relationship has been upgraded with the Ghoulists. Strong point. In an isolated valley in Hunot, priest is Hunot. A Hunot priest is building a network of resistors from his congregation. Desperate for arms and equipment, he comes to you to ask for aid. Do you help? Twenty-seven supplies for plus one. That is a tall, tall ask, my friend. Oh, we actually got the. Um, Oh, so it wasn't one, uh, it was actually one region. Okay, nice. Okay, then that's definitely worth the 27. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if that was the right mission call. But given that getting as much resistance for D-Day is the objective of the game, I feel like that, that was important. So, we only have one mission on the board, which is uh, intriguing. Huh. That's very interesting. Okay, so this is the mission. Um, we shall cripple, cripple the enemy's infrastructure in a single strike. Assault the HQ with the aid of the Fren Free French. Wipe out the command post and scramble their comms. That will permit Free French cells to launch strikes elsewhere. It's a brutal and it's an ambush. And we get an F, another FFI token. Okay. Uh, let's have a quick look how long it takes to recruit an FFI. Four days, and it's 18 supplies. Fine. Uh, I had sent um, Belanger on a aid faction. Every, every, I, I do an aid faction every single time um, to boost our relations. Okay, so we've got a, a brutal ambush. Um... So let's listen to the conversation. So, Luke, when did you stop feeling German and start feeling American? Not sure. As a kid, the image I had of America was from these Westerns Dad read to me about Winnetou and Old Shatterhand. The reality was very different. No cowboys in New York. No Apache in Queens. The reality was like stepping into the future. The world of skyscrapers and automobiles and Superman comics. My folks found that a bit alien, but that was the America I embraced, I guess. That's the part I made home. Okay, now, did we bring in another guy? No, we didn't. Okay, so that was not a recruit soldier mission. It looked like it, though. Um... Okay, so let's quickly, while we're here, uh, we'll quickly go over their skills. Um, so the main the main thing for Cassidy is obviously he is a morale guy. His job is to boost morale. Um, so we don't want him being broken. Um, so he he's crucial to do morale boosting. So we've got this skill to plus six AP to any target. I think that's really, really strong. Uh, his morale damage is 20%, uh, reduce incoming morale damage by 15%. Um, all allies recover 50% 50, 50 morale. We've got health, we've got health. Active skill costs are reduced by 1 AP. Um, and then uh, he recovers 50, uh, 30 AP when he does an active skill. So that's Cassidy. So let's, he's got two more AP. Um, Target ally gains 6 AP, reduces the cooldown to 2. That's immense. Um, how many skill points? That and that needs 2. All allies recover 100% morale. That's also very big. So we could reduce incoming damage by 15%. Uh, morale damage or increases AP. I feel Cassidy is actually quite strong on the um, morale resistance. So I'm going to give him the AP. And then we'll wait to get this cooldown off, off, off to two. Uh, King, he is our medic. He's becoming really strong. 
So he's got AP increased, he's got fire accuracy. Uh, when he does a med medic skill, he gets three AP. Uh, he's got two health and then four health. Um, he's got throw range on two, for plus two on a grenade. So he can cut wires without making noise. Um, he is immune to critical hits. Uh, his accuracy against vulnerable targets is 25%. I've got to remember that. That's interesting to remember. Uh, yeah, so he's our healer. We've got no skill points for him. Tremblay, we are waiting to get this skill for him. So when he kills an enemy, he gets um, he doesn't use up his AP. He has no skill points at the moment. He's got health. He's got cover bonus. He can recover morale. So the idea with these guys is basically we want to kind of keep them still. So he has armor piercing. He's got increased armor. Um, he's got precision. When shooting, Charles cannot shoot an enemy. Um, uh, an ally, sorry. And then shooting grants accuracy 10% on subsequent shots. So this is a great skill. So we basically don't want him to move. Um, as soon as he moves, that bonus cancels. Um, so basically every, every shot without moving is 10% each time. So... He's going to be hitting 100% the whole time. Uh, Tremblay, he's a great unit as well. He's got plus two health. Um, dodge, he's got three, after, three AP after killing an enemy. Wait, did Tremblay? He doesn't have a skill point. Um, he has marked, which is great. He's got passive morale recovery of 5%, so he recovers morale every turn. Silent kill, AP. Uh, so we've got this submachine gun. Um, we were having a chat in read it about this and we still don't know what this means um, so I'm on the fence I might actually write to the devs and ask them what that means uh, we've got knife kill hip accuracy because he fires from the hip now he's got two skill points so we could take another melee skill damage which would be big and then another AP um, AP after killing an, uh, an enemy with a melee attack 6 that's very strong so we're going to go that direction so he's going to have 14 AP, and his melee kills are very strong. Uh, so he's got plus two melee to normal, and we've got a knife that increases our melee skill. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, Block has got the six AP. He's got morale damage on his shots. He's got health. He's got morale damage incoming reduction. He's got the ability to mark, which is great, um, and aimed accuracy. His unique skill increased passive morale. Um, health, active skill reduction reduced by one, so that's very good. So he didn't have any skill points. Johnson are heavy. This is the big one for me. If you break an enemy, which is what we're gearing him up to do, he he um, he doesn't use up his turn, so he can keep going if he's got AP. So the way I'm gearing up Johnson, the heavy, is he is basically a, a morale. T uh, um, he reduces morale of the enemy, so he's going to break and suppress enemies, basically. That's his role. So we're building him up to be a tank. Um, and so he's very much recovering health and morale uh, in his goes. Um, so he recovers one health per turn. We've got this taunt. I still don't really understand the use of that. I, Not once in all of the missions that I've done have I thought, oh, that would be a nice situation to use taunt. Um, and then we've got um, the ability to stun. Now, I don't really get this because if an enemy is broken, they're basically stunned. If you break an enemy with your primary weapon, your AP, you have your AP remaining. The AP is not spent and your turn continues. Subsequent shots inflict stunned on all units in the spray zone. Okay, all units is interesting. Stunned. While a unit is afflicted with stun status, their AP is reduced to zero at the start of their turn. Okay, so that would work then. If I break an enemy, then my next shot will stun all enemies in my spray zone, is what I'm understanding. So that's maybe okay, but the chances are I will have broken them all by that point anyway. So that seems a little bit, a little bit weak, but we'll have to explore with that. 
Um, he has zero skill points, so yeah, he's basically health and morale recovery and damaging morale. Um, and then we've got one point for Musa. I think we'll do um, an AP skill for you. So he's basically pretty much the same as Tremblay. Uh, very little difference. And then Anson, his passive skill here is great. This reload cost of one AP, this means he's almost guaranteeing two shots a turn. Um, yeah, if he kills, because he's got this skill here. Kill an enemy. Um, so that's good. And I think there is a gun. I, did I equip him with a gun that's less, less to fire? Five AP to fire? So he has two skill points. So cover bonus, I feel, is good. Uh, cost of aimed fire is reduced by 1 AP. There we go. That's what we want to get. So that is 1. So we'll grab this. And we'll grab that. So that means now he's firing for 5 AP. If he kills an enemy, he gets another shot. So essentially, he's going to be shooting twice a turn. 1 AP to reload. Yeah. Very, very strong now. I mean, I mean that's pretty much making him MVP now. Um, okay, so that's all skills. Good. Oh, we've got Cassidy. Cassidy still has a skill point. Oh no, we're saving that for the um, the reduction now. Okay, uh, I thought that was good just to give you a quick overview. And then um, appearance, very very quickly. Um, not appearance, weapons. So we've got this knife here. This is an infinite knife, so I can equip this on all my players or allies. So we now have five damage with our knife and morale damage is very high. So with our scouts, they've got 14 AP. They can go around knifing people, regain three AP. It will soon be six and then knife again. Um, one AP to knife and they're basically doing seven damage, which is more than their primary. So this is his primary. Uh, let's get here. His primary is six. They're going to be doing knife kills for seven. So very good. We've got a new secondary weapon. Where is that? Here. Uh, that's not very good. I can't see that going on anywhere. Block and cast these. Nothing special. They're just straight up shooters. Um, and then any gear that I've given to people is just generally better dodge for the scouts. More health for our medic and the heavy better cover for our snipers, that kind of stuff. Um, we did get a primary weapon here. Oh, it's another shotgun, okay. So what is this? Let's have a look. So that ignores one target armor. And it basically, so we're basically foregoing um, Wait, it's so in the middle there. It says it's mo it's taking bleeding out, or it's replacing bleeding with. It looks like 50% morale damage, an increase in one for damage, but reduction in the armor. Is that what we want? Also, demoralize is going, and then bleeding's coming in. Uh, I prefer the demoralize, but the damage. Ugh. I think for the moment the damage is better than the the armor but as we go along i suspect all enemies will have armor okay um we've done that we've got 44 enemy level is at three now top there Whew. um we've got an ffi token um we've got 44 supplies Let's have a look at what we're going to do. We're going to do Aid Faction. Um, we don't need to do any injuries, really. We'll do a Repair Region for this one. So, I, in my mind, I'm thinking we save the supplies. We do a... Um, a region boost but look at some of this gear that we can get soon 
uh, a great sniper here. So if we see this, it's a massive, massive upgrade. Um, so that's fantastic. We've got a nice handgun. Got a great hat. If the Bosch catch non-British in uniform, um, they will execute you as a spy. So and some good trousers. So we definitely want to get. There was a really good gun. Where was it? Was it this one? Bonjour. I'll make you a good deal. Some good trousers here uh, for our medic. It's not that one. Maybe it was this one. Salut. Salut. Take your time. We are safe here. Uh, some yeah, so just basically just generally very good gear, um, but we really need to French save up uniform. the supplies. If they catch British or um, Americans okay. in our colours, they will out. shoot you as a spy. I really, really want to get this um, XP no supplies. Uh, that is the criminals, I think. Um, but our mission is going to be another purple, so that will go into there. So that's unfortunate. Okay, I will load in the mission. I'll see you there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.